all right guys welcome to my channel today we're gonna be talking Android on your old laptop or computer so uh, I was gifted this uh, laptop it's a Toshiba originally had a uh, Windows 7 it's supposed to have a uh, Intel Pentium inside uh, checking BIOS it's telling me that uh, it's supposed to be a 64-bit uh, it did not take any of the OS that come for a 64-bit CPU so word of advice go with the 32-bit and you're gonna be safer so as you guys can see this is remix OS I have looked all over uh, YouTube searching uh, for a way to install this natively in a hard drive running perfectly and I was not able to find any clear instructions and the instructions that were that I found I was not successful so I'm gonna show you today what I did and how I was able to get remix OS on a hard drive booting and everything I'm gonna show you that to you right now uh, first the only thing I don't like but you know I can live with is that uh, as you can see it's it has a uh, pretty much like a Windows desktop so you, you should be pretty uh, familiar with it so icons don't open with one click you gotta do double click and they open the file explorer that comes with it it's uh, pretty good uh, it does not have originally installed Play Store but you click on this uh, play activator and it will uh, download the Play Store for you and you know everything's working settings what I like about this the remix of this is that uh, uh, every time you open an application it opens as if it was in your uh, phone in por portrait mode so it doesn't take up the, the whole screen because I'm going to show you how to do the regular Android x86 2 because you're going to need it to install Remix OS. So as you can see, uh, you have pretty normal menu here. Android 6.0. Marshmallow. Let me see if I can get that. Yeah, there you go. This uh, Marshmallow game. I think I've only been able to... can't even pass one so as you can see down here it uh let's zoom in you get a uh, taskbar application open you right click create app and it should uh, uh quick the app you got a home button right here back button right here so let me, let me try that again Running File Explorer. All right, so if I click Home, right here's the icon telling me that the app is still open in the background. Right click it, create app, and it closes. Uh, Cody runs uh, pretty good. I've noticed that uh, the I think it's might be the 17.1 sometimes it gives you an error there you go Cody isn't responding but if you click wait it'll keep running perfectly and uh, I've noticed that here the first time you open Cody uh, doesn't give you a window how to close it or how to you know get out of here and it's right here on the upper right corner it just doesn't show but if you click that corner it closes and uh, here's uh, the Play Store let me back out and I'm I don't well I don't have a capture card but you know I want you guys to see that it's installed completely on the computer it's not running off a USB or nothing like that so uh, I've 
tested this now for a few hours and you know it's working pretty good and um uh, like i said what i like about it is that it opens uh the one application i haven't tried is uh instagram so let's try it right now let's see how it opens click install because uh on the regular android if uh once you uh swipe down and you get the the little menu here if you don't have it landscape mode it'll stay it'll ship the screen and it'll give you the home buttons on this side and then you don't i mean i, I wasn't able to get out of it until i rebooted the computer but uh if you click uh the landscape mode once you get out it'll go back to be in landscape like here See this uh, remix doesn't have the pull down menu. It has this menu over here. And uh let's try Instagram. Open and see here you go. It's open like a uh, on a regular phone. So basically you can use it without problems. And um let me quit the app and turn it off. You click on this bottom left corner like a start button on a regular Windows computer and this is your uh, all your app drawers that's where your apps are and on this right corner right here it's the where you start the, uh, the computer and restart so right now I'm gonna shut it down because I'm gonna show you uh, Android X86 I'll wait for that to shut down and you know runs pretty good and i tried both testing them out and remix it's you know the rest of the screen resolution it's a lot better than than the regular android uh i'm gonna take out let's see this i'm gonna take out uh the hard drive because I already did this one I don't want to mess it up and it's going to be a lot easier for you to see once we do the other installation and I don't want to replace the hard drive with the other one I have because I have to replace that metal base uh, too lazy for that I'm gonna be using I was using a uh, 500 gigabyte hard drive this one was the original that came with this computer and it's uh, 320 320 gigabyte I'm using uh, this ID to uh, or SATA to USB connector. So basically, I'm just going to install this here on the USB. And on this drive, I have Android X86 installed regular. And um, so basically, if you install this in the computer inside, it's just going to boot. Same thing if, if it was the, the remix. So I don't have anything on the CD tray. I don't have a hard drive installed inside, so here you go. So it automatically booted from the hard drive. So we wait a second. I was getting stuck on that screen before. I'm gonna show you why too. So here's the regular Android. It basically works like an uh, Android box. So we can wait until for that to boot. And 
and sometimes it takes a while, but it'll boot. So, you know, it thinking it took a while because, you know, it's not installed inside. But uh, as you can see, it, well, I don't have the mods connected now, but it works perfectly too. Uh, it comes with uh, the regular YouTube app. I downloaded the, the TV YouTube app. You know, I haven't decided which I'm going to keep. But as you can see here, if I open Instagram, let me see if I can show you here. See, it flipped the screen. And now, to get to home, there you go. I was able to get it because everything switches. So, so basically, what you, if you're going to stay with this one, you have to come here and make sure you hit landscape mode here right here right there so uh, here it is I'm running uh, Nova launcher because it you know gives me a lot more options I like it better so uh let's go to my other computer and I'll show you all the files you're gonna need how to install this. Guys, okay, so uh one well, of the first thing that you're gonna need is Gparted. Gparted is a uh software for Linux. It'll help you help you create partitions and uh I know there are a lot of software that that help you do it when inside of Windows, but I wanted to make this video as uh, I want to do everything on the computer that I'm going to be installing Android. So the first thing that you're going to need is uh, Gparted. Like I told you in the, in the beginning, I selected this one, which is the 32-bit version. Download that. Go to androidx86.org slash download. And like I said, I repeat myself. x86 uh, underscore 64 is the 64 bit. That did not work for me, even though the, the processor, the CPU, it's supposed to be 64 bit. Might be because it's old. So I downloaded the regular one. Which is a 32 bit. You can't see the mouse. Okay, here you go. So I downloaded that one. And if you come here, you see the the remix OS. Downloaded the 32 bit. It says that you gotta have a computer with legacy BIOS. So if you click here, it's gonna take you to another page. But you know, you just pick the 32 download it right and uh, I'm fortunate to have a another computer with a CD drive so if you don't you have to download this program and basically this software is gonna help you uh, install the ISO on a USB so you can boot from it. Basically what you do is, once you download it, come down here, and you click, this is the latest version, so today. So once you download it, uh, you select your uh, your flash drive where you're gonna install your ISO. Make sure it's 532. 
and you, select, you click on this little icon over here and it's going to give you uh, uh, it's going to open up a window where you're going to choose your ISO in this case they chose an Ubuntu but you know you're going to you're going to decide if you're going to do if you're going to do Gparted and Android and Remix all on USB then you're going to have you know to, to use this software like I said I have another computer and I used I use this one for uh, Remix because Remix is almost one gigabyte big so it doesn't fit on a CD I need a DVD and I, I don't have DVDs on me right now so this is Android x86 32 bit and this is Gparted on CD so uh, let's go back to the computer and uh, start installing alright guys so I'm back at the computer like I said, I don't want to change this cover to install it inside, so I'm going to be using this adapter. If you want this, I'm going to leave a link on the video description where you can buy one. So I'm just going to set this here. The first thing where I'm going to use is the G part it. Again, if you're doing it on a USB drive, then you need to do it on you install your uh, USB here so now we boot and you need to go into your BIOS on this computer I could go straight to the boot menu pressing F12 depending on the computer you have you gotta do a search a search before you start so you gotta know uh, where you're gonna do it so I have G parted on the CD drive so I want to boot from the CD and uh, give it a second. So here's uh, the boot menu for uh, for uh, G part it. You want to select the first one. Mouse doesn't work on, on this right here, so you gotta use the keyboard. G part it. Uh, sometimes it it looks like it's gonna give you an error, but you know it works fine. And it does take a while to boot on this on this old computer, but on the new computer, it, you know, it's pretty fast. So you gonna get that black screen. See, it's giving you kind of a, a fail to find CPU. Just wait. to fast forward because I want you guys to see everything and so you know it does take a while So when you get the screen, just basically says asking you about the key map of the keyboard. Just don't touch it. Press enter and select languages. Press enter. It's gonna be English automatically. And you just have to wait now until it boots. So inside this uh, this OS, I was able to install the mouse. It's a lot easier with the mouse. So this right here, it's basically what we're gonna end up with. 
but I want you to pay close attention. I have two partitions. One is 532, one is ext4. Uh, ex the the ones that's 532 is because when I installed the uh, the Android, I let the system format it, and it doesn't matter. It'll if you once you get there, you're gonna see that you know if you don't if you select not to format it, it's gonna stay ext4, and it will boot either way. But you know, let's uh, make believe that uh, you have an uh, original hard drive, and it's gonna show you NTFS format system here. So you basically, you want you want to do is delete, select, delete, apply, close. Now the the hard drive doesn't have anything inside. And this is the the reason why I was not able to get it to boot, and it's because if you do it automatically without doing this step, Android it's not going to create the separate par partition for the grub. The grub is that menu, which it lets it boot. So we have to create it here manually. So we click on New, and. Uh, I like to give it 500. No, you gotta press number lock. If I want to use the number lock on the keyboard, I like to give it 512 megabytes. Uh, on the space, you can name it. You don't have to do it. Primary partition, leave it like that. See, once you hit 512, it's gonna give you the amount of megabytes that are gonna be available after that partition. So just click add. And uh, you want to hit apply, so it does that one first. Okay, you close. It was done. And important, it has to be ext4, right? So now you could right click on it, and you go down to where it says. Let's see if I could change the zoom a little bit here. All right, here you go. Where it says manage flags you're gonna get this menu I click on boot close now this other partition partition we're gonna do the whole thing leave it primary partition ext4 very important if you want you can put Android there it doesn't matter uh, click add apply apply I saw other videos where uh, they were uh, saying that you needed to add a third partition, you know, a Linux swap. Uh, did it that way, did not work, you know. This is the only way I got it to work. Uh, this is going to take a little bit of time, then it's going to take a while because, you know, it's a pretty big hard drive. It's going to format 297.59 gigabytes. So uh, I'm way back when it's done. Okay, so it just got done. Click close. And as, as you can see, I have two partitions. And this is what you want to remember. SDA1, SDA2. If you are installing this on a computer that doesn't have a hard drive internally like this one, it's going to show up as SDA1, SDA2. If I would have left the other hard drive inside and try to do it, it's going to show up later on as SDB1, SDB2. So we're done here, close it, double click exit. Shut down and it should open the CD drive. So I can remove it and now I'm going to use the Android X86 32 bit put it inside press enter to complete shutting down now we can boot again go back to your boot menu nine cases F12 
I want to boot from the CD again. And now we're going to do installation, right? Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. All right, so right now it's gonna detect my hard drive. This is my hard drive with the two partition we just created. If you can see it here, just click detect devices and it should show up. Uh, I wanna mention that, you know, I try to do this whole process on a pen drive. And even though the partition showed up, it, it did not mount it. So it did not allow me to install Android on it. You know, sometimes it did, sometimes it didn't. So remember, SDA1 is for the grub. We're not touching that. SDA2, it's where we want to install Android. So go over there, hit enter. And since we already formatted, you're gonna hit do not format. Because even though it's giving you ext4 here, if you select it, it'll change it back to FAT32. So we're gonna click do not format do you want to install uh grub with load of grub you want yes efi grub 2 on this computer is yes i've heard and you know read around that on some computer depending on your bios you're supposed to skip this step but on this computer it's yes now this is the part where uh where i asked you before do you want to format the boot partition SDA1? That's the grub. You can format it and it's gonna change it back to 532, or you can leave it as no and it's gonna stay ext4. For this demonstration, we're gonna keep it in no so it stays in ext4. Do you want to install directory? And you're gonna hit yes. And that last step, I want you to remember that step. Because that step is the one that doesn't show up on the Remix OS. And that's why a lot of people can't install Remix directly on a hard drive. Because it does, the way they build it, the setting, it doesn't give you that option. And that's why I have to install Android x86 first. So I have that Grub installation. So we're going to show, I'm going to see that later. Uh, so you want to install system directory as read write yes and now it's going to start installing android on that partition we selected it is going to take a while i'm going to show you how uh, once it starts there you go so once it's done, I'll be back. All right, so it just got done. Once you get to the screen, you click on reboot. Before it shuts down, you take off. Right, I'm sorry about that, my battery died. So uh, before it reboots, take off your uh, CD or USB drive. And uh, just wait for the grub to appear. And there you go. As you can see it says Android x86 6.0 and uh, if you don't do anything that will boot automatically since I touch it I gotta hit enter and uh, you gotta be patient because that first boot does take a while So I'm going to be back when it boots. All right, guys. So it just booted. Regular uh, setup menu here. It's going to ask you for your uh, Wi-Fi. I'm going to skip that for now. I guess if, you, uh, if I log into my Wi-Fi, it's going to want to log into my email account. And I'm gonna set it up. So set up time. Let's 
set up your name. like I showed you before this one comes with a uh, chromium instead of chrome you can uninstall that and install uh, chrome if you want uh, if you guys know on Android 6.0 the search bar here it's permanent and there's only one way to get it to get it out you go to settings apps and you search for a uh, Google app for stop okay disable disable app home and now once you reboot <coughs> it's gonna be gone but we don't have time for that I already show you this system we're now gonna install remix OS so like I told you before you got remix on a flash drive, on yeah, the mouse. Oh, don't you just love USB? Can't get it right. All right, so on this system to reboot. You gotta press the power button and then power off. It doesn't have a restart button. I downloaded a. You can get a, a app from the Play Store. So let's reboot again. Make sure you hit. Go into your boot manager. In my case, it's F12. This time we want to boot from the USB. Oh, see, that's the problem. Since the hard drive, it's on the USB. It's detecting, <clears throat> it's not giving me the opportunity to boot from, uh, from the pen drive. So I'm gonna have to install the hard drive internally <clears throat> to be able to install Remix in this case since I don't have a, a DVD to burn the ISO on the DVD so I'll be back with that alright guys I'm back so I installed the hard drive internally got a Remix here on this uh, pen drive we're gonna boot and for you, for you guys that just want Remix you don't have to go through the setup of the Android x86 so once you install it you can just skip ahead to this point so you don't have to go to that setup menu and all that <clears throat> you just have to install it and uh once you reboot you know get your uh pen drive with uh remix os on it so when you get to this uh, page hit tab you don't have a lot of time so you have about five seconds or you're gonna, gonna start installing if you hit resident mode it's gonna try to install remix on the same uh, pen drive that you have installed here we don't want that that's why we hit install so uh this is how it's gonna show up here if you want to hit it space bar capital letters caps locks on install equals one enter and now give it a few seconds and this is gonna allow us to get that uh menu here you go so as you can see sda1 that's the grub still ext4 ext4 that's where android x86 is installed and we want to install remix on top of that so we hit enter do not format do you want to uh install bootloader grub you want to hit yes so it modifies the one that's already in there All right so now do you want to read and write you click yes 
as you can see, it did not ask me uh, if I wanted to uh, format SDA1 as it does when you install Android x86. And when and it asks you that, it writes the bootloader on that first partition. This remix doesn't do that. That's why we had to install it on top. So now you get this um, uh, message here that you have an older x86. And do you like to upgrade it? You click yes. And now it's going to install Remix on top of that Android x86. I'll give it a few minutes and I'll be back. Okay, so I just got done. Same as before. Scroll down to reboot. Press OK. Remove your pen drive with Remix OS on it. I let it boot by itself. And as you can see, the grub menu changed now from Android x86 to Remix. And now uh, let it boot. And like before, this first boot takes a while. I'm just gonna let you see. So you can see how it starts. And uh, I'm gonna pause the video and be back when it boots. All right, guys, I'm back. It took a few minutes. Try to zoom in here. So this is the first menu that you get. Let's go down. English for me, Greek, and as you can see, it's uh, letting me choose uh, a Wi-Fi. The first time I tried it, I skipped it, and then it, it, the Wi-Fi would not, you know, start. So right now, I'm gonna log into my uh, Wi-Fi. And uh, so now activate Google Play. I would like to activate that check mark here. Click next. Set complete. And here you guys. Here it is. So uh, if you want to get that uh, Play Store, like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, you go here, double click. Let me try that again. And it's going to ask you, do you want to activate? You click yes. It says done. Okay. As you can see, it showed up right here on the screen. And now if I uh, try to do it, it's going to ask me for my... Uh, email and I already show you guys that it worked so here it is guys so what you guys think make sure you subscribe if you want to see more uh, of these uh, type of videos and uh, hit the like button if you've tried uh, to install remix and you couldn't and now you finally figured out how to do it thank you for watching peace out